For the first time ever, an AI model has been trained in space and it wasn't a giant model like GPT-4 or Gemini. It was NanoGPT, the lightweight language model framework built by Andre Karpathy. Yes, Karpathy's tiny model is now the first LLM in human history to be trained beyond Earth. And let's understand how this actually happened and why it matters. But before we get into it, please make sure to like, share and subscribe. This is Front Page by AIM Network. So, a space compute startup called Star Cloud, part of NVIDIA's inception program, launched a satellite named Star Cloud 1 on a SpaceX rocket. Unlike typical satellites, this one carries serious hardware, NVIDIA H100 GPUs, with the same chips powering modern AI labs on Earth. This makes Star Cloud 1 not a communication satellite, but the world's first AI training satellite. Up there, orbiting hundreds of kilometers above Earth, StarCloud ran two experiments. The use case of training an LLM like NanoGPT in space is quite simple. Satellites today collect massive amounts of data, but they can't process most of it on board. By having an LLM trained and running in orbit, satellites can very quickly analyze images, summarize patterns, generate alerts, compress only the important information and even operate with some autonomy when contact with Earth is delayed. A small model like NanoGPT is perfect for this light, efficient and able to learn and adapt in real time without waiting for ground-based compute. This is the first step towards smart satellites that actually don't just look at the Earth but think in orbit. They ran Google's open source Gemma model in orbit. The model responded with a very fun message. Hello, Earthlings. That's cute, yeah? But it's actually the second experiment that shocked everyone. For the first time, an AI model was trained in space. StarCloud took NanoGPT, loaded the complete works of Shakespeare, and trained it using the H100s on board. This makes NanoGPT the first space-trained LLM ever recorded. It is literally the first model to learn patterns, predict text and update weights outside Earth's atmosphere. This is a massive milestone for two reasons. And I have to say this, this is definitely not much ado about nothing. There is a lot more to it. But anyway, coming back, it proves that gradient-based training is stable in orbit despite radiation and thermal variations. It shows that small, efficient models will be the pioneers of off-planet AI, not giant 500B parameter monsters. Karpati's open source minimalism just became the foundation of a new frontier. AI beyond Earth, on Earth, AI progresses, progress is hitting physical limits. This is why data centers need more land. Cities can't supply enough electricity. Cooling is expensive. Grids are overloaded. Training GPT level models already requires entire power plants. Meanwhile, low Earth orbit offers huge advantages. And here they are. The continuous solar power, no land or real estate cost, no water cooling, extreme energy efficiency, perfect temperatures for passive cooling, no dependency on local grids. StarCloud believes that building a 5 gigawatt orbital data center could actually be cheaper than building an equivalent on Earth. StarCloud's next launch is scheduled for October 2026. This mission will carry more H100s and NVIDIA's Blackwell architecture, the next generation AI platform. Their CEO, Philip Johnston, says this, Anything a ground data center can do, Orbit should be able to do too. End quote. NanoGPT's success is step one. China, meanwhile, has been working on space intelligent computing since 2019. The highlights, a large in-orbit model deployed in 2024, a 12-satellite AI computing constellation in 2025, the new Tian Tian plan, a low-orbit supercluster of 10,000 GPUs delivering 10 EOPS. This is no longer a one-off experiment. This is now turning into a race. And here is our take on that race.
space, the next data center. It's just nice, bring back memories. Anyway, nano GPT training in space isn't just a fun headline. It actually marks the beginning of something bigger. AI has outgrown Earth's power and land. So compute is expanding upwards into orbit. Karpathi's minimalist model achieving his first shows where things are actually heading. Leaner models, solar powered compute and AI infrastructure that lives above the planet. The next generation AI supercomputers may not sit in Bengaluru or Silicon Valley. They may be circling the earth powered by sunlight. This, as always, is front page by AIM Network. Like, share, subscribe and always remember, think AI, think AIM. Thank you.